Siyempre, no, may kakaiba pa kayong nararamdaman sa energy today because that's right, solo flight lang ang inyong Queen Kada Tresha ngayon. Pero that's okay dahil hindi natin papalagpasin ang excitement ng mga schoolmates natin dito sa Ramon Pascual Institute! So ayan, mukhang ready-ready na sila. Pero ito ang hamon namin sa inyo today. Pascualians, are you ready na makinig at makialam sa mga issue ng bansa natin ngayon? Alright! Okay, I think that's proof enough. Kaya naman, huwag din natin kakalimutan ang mga schoolmate netizens natin na nasa social media platforms natin ngayon. Inyo lamang pakinggan at syempre magbigay kayo ng inyong mga opinion dahil lahat ng tatalakay natin ay dito lang sa Schoolmates! Kasabay nga ng pag-usbong ng teknolohiya ay ang pagsulpot ng iba't ibang artificial intelligence tools na nakakatulong nga raw sa pag-aaral ng mga estudyante. Pero syempre, dahil very accessible at napapadali nga daw nito ang buhay nila, especially on curricular activities, hindi makakaila na marami ang tumatangkilik dito. At kaya naman, syempre meron itong mga pros and cons na sabi nga daw ng iba ay magpapabago sa roles at syempre trabaho na rin ng ating mga guro. With that being said, ano kaya ang masasabi ng ating mga schoolmate debaters para sa una nating grupo na naniniwalang banta ang artificial intelligence sa ating edukasyon na andito si Nisha LJ Atrens. AI became a part of our lives before we even knew it. As students, it helped us with our tasks, homeworks, and activities. However, According to Opidan Education, while AI has the ability or has the potential to further advance our students', students way of learning, it also comes with its risk. One common risk is students becoming over-reliant on AI. AI or artificial intelligent tools that has the ability to write essays, poems on any subject, and even generate artwork. Now, these um, abilities of AI has its perks. However, it can also pull a threat and affect the capability of students to think critically and use their problem-solving skills. Th that can result to the negligence of other facets of our brain. Now, these risks can affect other facets of our educational sectors as well. Thank you. At ngayon naman, ating bibigyan ng pagkakataon ang ikalawang grupo na naniniwalang hindi banta ang artificial intelligence sa edukasyon. Let's all welcome Jessie Ray, Fernico, and Rogel. First and foremost, AI is a tool for students. Students use AI for a fast, precise, and efficient way for their studying experiences. Second, not just for students, but AI is also a tool for teachers. Teachers have also been relying to AI so they can give proper learning materials for students. And third, by the fact that AI is limitless and HI is limited, AI is a great assistance to HI. And last, AI has already been widely accepted by many and is increasingly becoming part of our daily lives. That's all. Thank you. Alright! Ayan naman, napakinggan natin ang pambungad ng magkabilang panic and they have both given their points. Pero schoolmates, hindi lamang sila ang may say-say ngayong topic dahil makakasama rin natin ang mga schoolmates natin dito sa Ramon Pascual Institute. Okay guys, so syempre no, hindi kayo tagapalakpak lamang dahil ang ating mga audiences ay makapagbibigay din ng kanilang sariling opinion. At ito pa, pwede rin kayong magtanong sa ating mga debaters kaya pakabangan lamang maya-maya lamang. At sa aming pagbabalik, ating malalaman ang masasabi ng iba na mga miyembro ng bawat grupo tungkol sa usapin natin sa AI dito lamang sa Schoolmates! 